It is playoffs eve for the White Sox, the team now in Texas getting ready to take on the Houston Astros. CBS News Marshall Harris live in Houston where the series kicks off tomorrow. But some concerning news about reigning American MVP Jose Abreu. Marshall. Brad, here in Houston, the White Sox working out, but that first baseman, Jose Abreu, not with the team after suffering flu-like symptoms since Sunday. The good news is he is on his way here and will be here later on tonight. The bad news is Tony La Russa says he's not sure if his first baseman will be available for tomorrow's game one. Now, the rest of the White Sox working out here one last time at Minute Maid Park before the best of five series begins. It's a great managerial matchup. Tony La Russa's first playoff game in 10 years coming against his former teammate Dusty Baker. La Russa and Baker are 77 and 72 years old respectively. They've got over 58 years of managerial experience between them. They've gotten into it over the years, but La Russa says everything was cool until today. I'm older than he is and our locker room is way down there. I'm going to have to walk a lot farther to this press room. I don't think that's fair. So I'll talk to Dusty about changing that. I mean, he's in the Hall of Fame. I mean, you don't find many Hall of Famers that come back. You know, most of them trying to get in, more or less coming back. I enjoy managing against Tony. There are eight teams going to be left. Any one of those eight teams is good enough to win the World Series. It's a short series, and that's the fun. That's the excitement. And you can put it all on the line every day, which is hard to do for six months. You've got to really pace yourself in places. So, I mean, you can ask any manager, any coach, and players with experience, this is fun. This is exciting. Let's take our shot. It's an exciting time for both Tony La Russa and Dusty Baker. Coming up later after the meeting of the minds, we'll, we'll talk more about Tony Abreu, what his teammates are saying about him possibly not being available for the beginning of this series. Plus, we'll tell you who the game one starter is for the White Sox.